In this tutorial, I want to show you how to load a custom or a default avatar using Domino Marama's Blend File. To begin, you want to go over to dominodesigns.info and download the avatar file. Now, let's open up Blender. Go to File, Open. Browse to your avatar.blend file. I don't want to use his user interface settings, so I uncheck load UI so that I keep my own settings. I want to hit numpad 3 to go into side view. And then I want to hit numpad period to zoom in to the selected item. But I also want a third window here, so I'm going to hover over here and click with the right mouse button and pick split area. Click here and go to outliner. The outliner gives you a hierarchy of the objects in the scene and sometimes it's easier to select things from here. So I want to clear up this clutter for one thing. It's a lot of empties that we don't need. These little empties have um, Z, Y, X on them. We don't need those. So I'm going to select the avatar bones. Select the other body parts. American finicky, okay. Not one as I selected. Okay, now that I have them all selected, I'm going to hit Control I to invert the selection, and then I'm going to hit X and erase the objects. Alrighty, it's already looking better. But I also want to hide some of these body parts that I'm not going to use like the skirt, the hair, make sure you hold shift so you can get, you can select more than one item. I don't need the eyelashes, and I don't need the eyeballs. So now I go over here and I hit H to hide them. Alright, now I want to select each of the three body parts, the head, the upper body, and the lower body. So I'm going to hold shift to select them, to add to the selection. Then I'm going to go down here to the editing panel and hit set smooth. Now my file is prepared to go to the next step. If you want to just build your item over the default asset avatar, you can move on to another video in the series. However, if you want to make a custom outfit for a specific shape, you need to extract it from SL first. I'll show you how to do that next. Today we want to look at how to download a custom Second Life avatar and turn it into a rigged mesh. So first, let's download our shape from the viewer. Using Phoenix, you can activate the advanced tab by going down to show advanced. Once you have your advanced menu, go down to character, meshes and morphs, and then you want to download the head mesh, the upper body mesh, and the lower body mesh to have a complete avatar. If you want, you can also download these other meshes but we're just going to focus on these three today. So once you get head mesh, go to current mesh, save objects. Then you can browse to a folder that you want. I've already saved these, but I'll save it again. Okay. 
then you have to do the process again for each one that you want upper body current save object browse upper body and one last one which is an object's lower body current mesh lower body and then you're done note that this process captures whatever morphs um, are active at the time. That includes foot morphs for heels. Make sure to remove these heel and shoe morphs before you save the lower body. Now we're going to move on to part two where we rig the mesh. At this point we want to go ahead and open the avatar file that we saved in the first section of this video. But first I want to move the old avatar, the default Second Life avatar, to the second layer. To do this I'm going to hit M, which is the hot key for layers, and click this button to move it to the second layer. Each one of these rectangles represents a layer. If you look down here you'll see that now we have a dot in this second box which tells us that there's objects on the second layer and to see it we just click it and to go back to layer one we click the first box now at this point we want to import the objects that we saved from Phoenix so go to file import wait for an object browse to the folder where you saved your objects we have the head. We want to change clamp scale to zero. We want to uncheck this rotation. And now we simply repeat this two more times. The upper body, zero, uncheck the rotation. One last time. For the lower body, now we want to shift select until we have all three body parts and go down here to editing panel and hit set smooth. With the body selected, Shift select the armature last. The armature must be the last thing selected. And then you want to hit Control P to bring up the parenting window. Make parent to armature. Don't create groups because we will be using a script to add the groups and the weights later. You have to hit this three times because you have three different objects. Okay. Now you'll have to copy the skinning information from the old avatar to the new one. Don't move either avatar. If you do, the copying won't work properly. So let's activate both layers. So hit hold shift and then click the second layer. Now they're both activated. Both models must be on screen for this to work. Select the new head, then shift select the old head in the outliner. New head, avatar head, LOM. Old head is head. Alright. You must make the selections in that order for it to work. The last selected is the source for the weights. So now we want to go down to Object, Scripts, Bone Weight Copy. 
change the quality setting to something above zero. I usually use one or two in this particular case since the object is a morph of the source object and has the same edge flow and vertices, vertex indices. So quality one, okay. In the progress bar, you can see which mesh is transferring weight to the other. Watch the progress bar to see when it finishes. The higher the quality setting, the longer it will take. After the head is done, you repeat this copying step for the upper and lower body. So for example, you would select avatar upper body, then shift select upper body, and repeat the prop, the um, steps with the bone weight copy script. Then the same goes with avatar lower body, shift select lower body, and so on. Um, but for now, let's just see for ourselves that the process worked. So we want to isolate layer one. So just click this first box and then go down here in the editing panel still and click this box. Now you see that all the vertex groups that were in the original head are now in the new head. You can also see if you switch to weight paint mode that the weight paints the um, weights for the vertices have also been moved over to this file as well. Let's look at the neck. Okay. So for now I'm going to pause the video while Blender processes the other two parts and then I'll be back. Alright, now that the bone weight copy script has done its thing Let's rotate some bones to make sure everything is working properly. So first you want to right click the armature, then hit control tab to go into pose mode. Right click a bone to select it, and then just tap R to rotate. You can change which axis you're rotating on by just clicking the initial for that axis, such as X, Y, Z. You can double hit R to get trackball motion. Okay. Now you can go around and hit as many bones as you like. You might want to hit the pelvis to make sure that you don't have any stray vertices anywhere. So everything looks pretty good. So we're going to hit A to select all, then hit W and clear user transform. And this will bring the armature back to its default state. At this point, just save your file so you can use it again another time. In the next video, I will discuss how to make this process so much easier and more efficient with a commercial plugin from Wiz Daxter. Until then, see you later.